In previous videos and reviews, particularly when I looked at like the Advantage 360, I moaned about the lack of a decent GUI for administering the ZMK firmware that it came with. The one that Kinesis was using was some version of this editor that Nick Kutsos had already made. My main complaint was that there was no way of doing um, some of the fancier capabilities of ZMK through this graphical editor. So more often than not, you needed to drop down into code to add the bits and pieces that you needed in order to get something that you actually wanted on the, the 360 keyboard anyway. Well, all that has changed because if you take a look at uh, Nick Kutsos's new version of the editor, you can do everything and it looks great. You've got a nice little um, sort of day and light, sorry, dark and light theme up at the top right here. You can choose which of your GitHub repositories you hook up to up at the top left here. So in this case, this one's for the Cornish Zen, um, but I could just as easily change that and choose uh, my 360. That'll go away and load that, and then I can deal with the 360. So the good news is, I would recommend that if you've got a 360 and you want to do anything slightly more complicated, use Nick Kutsos's editor rather than the, uh, the Advantage one. I think it's a far better experience. So let me switch back here just to the, the Zen for you. So you can see on the left, this is the sort of table stake stuff where you just get your different layers. You can change the name of them there. You can do easy um, switches of like a bunch of keys um, and change them all in one go from one to another. So, you know, I can change all these trans to something else. So the big differences you'll see compared to the Kinesis one is you can do things here like combos. So yeah, you, you can sit whichever combo of keys that you want. I mean, I've got a lot of dual keys here, but you can have whatever sort of combos you want on whichever half and set them to do what you want them to do. Let me show you how to make a combo. So let's suppose I want um, I don't, the top, uh, let's see, the bottom right corners are gonna be escape as well. Okay, so um, we'll call this bottom escape just for the sake of giving it something. I'm going to choose my two keys at the bottom corner here and this is going to be uh, a key press and the key press is going to be escape. Okay, confirm that, create that. So there you go, I've got a, an escape there at the bottom. Whatever changes that you make, you just click save up here, put your commit message in, uh, adding, adding bottom test combo commit that, that'll go away, automatically connects to your repository, pushes the changes up, and if you then go over to that repository in GitHub, do the usual thing, go to the build um, tab and get your build from there. Similarly, something that was always ridiculously difficult to do, or I found it ridiculously difficult to do, is home row mods. I've tried home row mods on QMK boards, can't get them working well for the life of me. I know there's an extra library called Accordion that you can use, which I'm going to look at, but what I want to say here is ZMK, um, thanks to some super smart people, has got a version of Home Row Mods that works really, really well. So I think I got most of my clever stuff for the Home Row Mods from you, Rob's um, page, which I'll stick a link to um, in the description. But basically, the key thing that it lets you do is set for each Home Row, uh, each Home Row Mod on each side of your split board, you can set which keys on the other side will actually count as additional key presses. Um, that probably makes more sense to just show you than try and explain it like that. Um, so you can see here in behaviors, I've got these, um, if you ignore this one here for copy and paste, I've got one for home row mods left and one for home row, home row mods right. And if you look at this, not only does it let you set your, your tapping term, globing quick tap, set your balanced flavor, of this mod, but you can also look at this thing here. You can not only click the keys like this, but you can just drag and drop over the amount of keys that you want on these. Just and this version of the the tool that, that Nick has made is just full of these lovely little features that you discover. You know, I find myself sort of going, "Oh, I wonder if." And sure enough, it does. Just really, really nice and simple. So for all the keyboards I have that run on ZMK. I'm using this editor rather than the one that ships with them, with the exception of the Glove 80, which of course, that has its own sort of version of this um, editor, which was forked in some distant past. For the, the 360, for this, for, for dactyls and the like, this is what I'm using now. So I think if you're used to thinking that you need to use ZMK in code to do any of the more sort of complicated stuff, any of the more complicated behaviors, go and take another look at this editor because I think there's nothing that I've found yet that I wanted to do in ZMK 
that I couldn't administer through this interface now, and I just find it, even though I write code pretty much for a living, I still prefer to do my keyboard layers, mappings, all that kind of carry on in a GUI rather than um, in the code. Don't really know why that is, but there you go. So there you go. If you looked at this ZMK configurator in the past and given it a, a hard pass, I would say to you, go and take another look. I think it's a fantastic tool. Uh, I'd just like to take this opportunity to thank Nick for making it. It makes tweaking and endlessly working on these keyboard layouts an absolute pleasure.